Of all the animals you've ever wanted to be, probably a slug is not near the top of your list. But that's going to provide a fun backdrop for this puzzle called Slug Salad. This is a great way to give your students practice with addition. In my typical fashion, I do not come up with the rules of the puzzle to begin with. You have to do this, then this, then this. I find that just bores students. Instead, I try to get them engaged and present a mysterious atmosphere where they don't know the rules and then they fail and we have fun, we laugh at the failure and that has the side benefit of removing the stigma of failure from the classroom but it also is a much more engaging technique than having those rules presented at the start. The hexagons, the hexagons. Oh, what the, what's the whole thing? Yeah. Beehive? It's not a beehive, this is a cabbage. Right? It's obviously a cabbage. Yeah, well, I know it is. Yeah, yeah, this is obviously a cabbage. And, uh, do you know who you guys are? You're slugs, and you're going to be eating this cabbage. No. Yeah. Yeah, that's what, that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be eating this cabbage. So, where do we want to start? Go ahead. Which number would you like to start on? Um, what's the Two. You have to eat the whole cabbage. Or as much of it as you can. Five. So, so you're, you're, you're the first. No, we don't go. You're, so you're starting off here, and where do you want to go? So where do you want to go? You're starting at five. Where do you want to go? No, no, because you're going to be growing bigger. Every time you move, you're going to be getting, you're going to eat, and you're going to be getting bigger. So you can't go to four. So go ahead. Oh, three. Pick, is three bigger than five? Oh, no. oh. Don't go to four. Go to seven. Seven. Seven? Okay. You should have picked those in one. You should have went to um, one. Okay. You should have picked one. Where, where would you like to go to next? Um, I would like to go to 40. 40? No. So that you oh, grow super fast. Okay? So you, you can stop anytime you want. And you just say that you're satisfied. Okay? We're now. We're Where do you want to go? Or do you want to stop? I wanted to stop because then we can't go anywhere. Yeah, we can't go anywhere because four is the biggest number. Uh huh. So you're stuck here. So you've successfully um, eaten this if all of your numbers that you've done so far are equal to the last number whenever you add them up. So 5 plus 7 is equal to 40. So you guys have. Being successful. No, five plus seven is not four. No. I yeah. thought you were. I thought you were good at math. Yeah, yeah. So no, it's not equal to forty. Five plus seven is twelve. So this is a failure. You guys have not done a good slug path through this lettuce. So this did not work. I think I know. That's what I. I was. I, I didn't know how to play. Oh, the rules are you always have to add the number. You can't go down a number and you try like 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 equals 17, so it's 17. I really liked your way of thinking. You just go 11 plus 8 plus 1, that's 20. Two, four, six, does does three. everyone agree? Yeah. yeah. Okay, then 7 plus 3 is 10. Yeah. And 4 plus 6 is 10. Yeah. That's 20 plus I 10 know, plus 10. I know Very smooth. the next two. So let's, uh, answer one. let's get rid of all of these. One of my pet peeves is the use of the words easy and math in the same sentence. Math was never supposed to be easy. It's not the reason we teach it. We teach it to challenge our students, to make them really think. Now, in this video clip coming up, you're going to see students describe this as, oh, this is really tough. 
Now, most of the time, whenever you hear students describe this is really tough, they're going to say it in a plaintive tone, and what it really means is that this is really boring. That's the correct translation usually, but not in this clip. In this clip, you will see students describe it as, oh, this is really tough, and what they're really saying is, this is really challenging and I'm really engaged. An entirely different translation is appropriate here. Mathematics is never supposed to be easy. If it is, you're in the wrong classroom. Like, can we do, can I, can we use this again for if we don't no. get that one? No, yeah, you yeah, have to find a way to eat, eat it. Uh, yeah. This yeah. is Yeah. This is really hard. Yes, but can you go from seven down to two? No. No. But you, that, hey, you can go two, seven, nine. You could do it in a different two, way. Seven, nine. Two, seven, nine.